Hi, I'm Luke from Home Speech Home and I want to give you a quick tutorial of how to use an iPad or an iPhone on the Zoom video communications platform. The first step, of course, is to start your meeting. Then, on the bottom navigation bar, click Share Screen. It will bring up a few options for you and you're going to click iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. Then click Share. After you do that, some instructions will pop up on the screen. Grab your iPhone or iPad and open up Control Center. If your iPad is running iOS 12 or later, you'll see two icons in the top right, the Wi-Fi and the battery icon. You're gonna swipe down on that, that opens up Control Center. If you're running iOS 11, or if you're doing it from an iPhone, you're gonna swipe up, that will open up Control Center. After you do that, you're gonna press Screen Mirroring, and a listing will come up that says Zoom, and then the name of your computer. So go ahead and tap that, and then you'll tap your screen, and now you have your iPad screen on Zoom. That's it. Simple, right? Now when I provide online therapy, I can use anything on my iPad because my client can see my screen. Keep in mind that this is just screen mirroring, so your client won't have any control over what's on your iPad screen. Zoom is simply displaying what's on your screen of your iPad onto their platform for your client to see. Having said that, you can still give your client control over the screen on Zoom, and then they can draw on it. If you're providing any type of speech therapy for children or adults, you definitely need to have the free app Word Vault Essential installed on your iPhone or your iPad. Let me say that again. There's no reason why you shouldn't have this app installed on your device. It's like having 50 textbooks all right here at your fingertips. If you're unfamiliar with Word Vault, you can download it for free and get access to thousands of targeted therapy lists and prompts for articulation, language, phonology, and social skills. When you subscribe to Pro Features, you can get hundreds of pictures that correspond to the free word lists, games, tools, and interactive activities. You can even have words said to you and record your client while they practice. The data feature lets you track progress and sync progress online. Pro Features let you create your own custom lists or add your own words to existing lists. Let me show you how I use it with Katie. I'm gonna go into the articulation section and we're gonna work on the K sound for Katie. Katie, can you see that list of words in front of you? Yes. Go ahead and read that list for me, please. Cake, can, car, car, cart, cat, catch, cave, coat. All right, excellent, Katie. Now I wanna show you a picture. What do you see there, Katie? I see a picture of yummy chocolate cake. Mmm, good sentence. Cake. Yummy chocolate cake. Can you say the word cake for me three times? Cake. 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 Good. And can you tell me, using the word cake in a sentence, what is your favorite type of cake? My favorite cake is cheesecake. Perfect. So if you don't already have it, download Word Vault Essential on the App Store and you can try Pro Features free for 30 days. If you have it downloaded, watch Holly's video on how to use Word Vault as she demonstrates lots of ways to use it on Zoom. I hope this video has shown you how to connect your iPad or iPhone to Zoom and given you materials and suggestions that will make your online therapy more fun and interactive. If it has, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and leave us a comment about how you make online therapy engaging. See you in our next video.